middle school takes place during that time in life when children begin to develop into adults. It is a time in a child's life when they're still trying to figure out who they are. And as Delane Cleveland reports, in today's school spotlight, Wyzetta's Central Middle School provides students with a unique learning opportunity that helps them grow. On the campus of what was once Wyzetta High School, more than 1,200 students make their way to a place that's been called Central Middle School since 1997. We have this big footprint and so we've got the classroom, we've got teachers, we've got the resources and, and uh, things are working out great. One of the reasons Principal Clark Doughton says things are working out great is because they're able to make this big school feel smaller by having teachers work in teams. Four teachers share a pool of kids and all those kids Kids in the pool share the same teachers. And those kids really get to know each other well. The teachers know them. Um, it, it becomes more of a family style environment. He says a family style environment plays a big role in making students feel comfortable. And comfort is important as teachers work to get them ready for what comes next. So we spend a lot of time talking about high school readiness, but we always have that end target of being a really functional adult out there in the world. Yet there's only so much that a classroom can do to prepare students for the real world. That's where Wolf Ridge comes into play. Wolf Ridge is a, it's probably one of the most talked about experiences that a that a sixth, seventh, or eighth grader has at Central Middle School. Every year, more than 400 students in the sixth grade take a bus four hours north and spend a week at the Wolf Ridge Environmental Learning Center. It's where they're immersed in science, the environment, and with each other. Some students who've never been away from home, and here's their experience to just grow a little bit more. Christy Allstad is one of the main organizers of the annual trip, and during the course of the week, students do everything from rock climbing to learning winter survival skills to tapping maple trees. But the trip is also a bonding experience. Once we're up there, we're, we're this family unit. I get to, to get to know these kids on a different level, um, which translates really well back in the classroom. Let's see. When they get back in the classroom, they're asked to put together a memory book. It's a lot of work. And each book tells a story of the students' personal growth. They'll talk about the experiences of not having having their parents cooking, but also not having their parents cooking. It's a real world experience that comes at a time when students are trying to figure out their place in society. It's one of those things that as I talk to former sixth graders that are now in high school or past high school, they still talk about their Wolfridge experience and all the growth that they experienced because of that trip. It's an experience they can't get from any book or iPad. We're just proud of them every day they walk in the school. In Plymouth, Delane Cleveland, CCX News. The students documented their Wolf Ridge experience on social media, and if you'd like to check out their adventures, you can find a link to the school's Twitter page on our website at ccxmedia.org.